So I've been like 95% carnivore for seven months now. I had a little water fast hiccup and then a little juice fast hiccup to heal an appendix hiccup. But we've made it. We're back on the carnivore wagon. And I'm constantly looking for other YouTubers to watch because I like to hear from other people's experience like, what are you doing? What are you eating? What are you healing? So I'm looking for carnivores and I'm not seeing a lot of people. The ones I see, it's always like, look at the gains, bro. Made some gains. Are we shallow? Are meat eaters shallow shells of themselves? Let's discuss it. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life, you can't be mad at me. I'm making my bed. If you iron out the wrinkles, it's this made uh, it's not working so first I want to say if you have a channel down below that you want to recommend that is like carnivore style ketogenic whatever like that style of eating it doesn't have to be 100% raw meat I only eat livers and Wednesdays I eat a fish face it doesn't have to be a hundred percent I don't really like labeling my entire being as the way I eat and this is me it's kind of stupid, it's just, but I do appreciate the higher fat, higher meat way of life, and it just feels very healing and grounding and balancing, like you're on a teeter-totter of life. So post your favorite channels down below, and if you must, recommend your own channel. Okay, it's just not gonna carry the same weight as if somebody else recommended you. It's gonna look a little desperate. It's like, oh, I, I happen to make videos about this. You should check my channel out. It's desperate. I'll hear you. I'll listen. So in my opinion, there's many reasons to go on a carnivore diet that have nothing to do with strength. And I did lose quite a bit of strength on that water fast. My God, I feel like my own fruit boy body. I'm a donkey bitch. That's why I'm wearing that. Deservedly so. I'm weak. I'm sickly. Can't feel my face. I was paralyzed for a bit. That's fine. If you've never been paralyzed, you're a loser. So when I first went carnivore, it was very apparent immediately that I was a lot stronger. Like I just started beating my reps. I was moving up the dimensions of the monkey strength program available, links down below. You share it and get 10% off and check that. So I just noticed that I was getting a lot stronger, faster on this carnivore diet and I was just beating my old records by more than I usually could. And then I'm advancing and I'm just like, this is like, I'm much stronger. Just the increase in protein, the ease of digesting it all, it worked. And that's one great reason to go carnivore. You get stronger. You become a man finally. It's nice. I now pee standing up before I had to sit down as a vegan. And sometimes I, I cross my legs together and I hide my stuff. And then I do poses like this. No, I don't. For me, strength has to be the least important bottom feeder reason why a hippie gerbil would go carnivore. It's like, it's nice, but that's, I would never just go carnivore to gain some strength. The most important benefits for me are digestion, the bloating going away, no gas, no embarrassing sulfur gas that you have to like let one out and then hang your head in shame and hope nobody sees you and then you have to watch where fans are pointing and then who's in the opposite direction. It's like, okay, if I let it out here, that fan's gonna, that's gonna get hurt right in the face. These are the things you have to worry about as a vegan. It's a sad life, it's a sad life. But digestion's the major one for me. Skin health, I still got the bumpy little forehead losers. One day they will leave my life. That'll be nice. Probably the number one benefit for me is just the happiness. The mental clarity, the calmness, like it's all up here. It's all in that brain meat. It's just like I'm so calm now. Life is good. Things used to bother me that don't bother me anymore. Partly because of the diet. Partly because of that water fast. I dive deep into my mind and I fix some stuff. I was like, okay, you care too much about what other people think. Stop doing that. Who cares? 
It's hard to explain if you've never felt it, but just the calmness, and it's not like you can't feel that on a vegan diet or whatever diet, but just I feel it on the carnivore diet. High in fat, low in carbs. I have my coconut water, that seems to help. Get your electrolyte balance and a high fat burning mode. Seem to be the key to my mental health. <laughs> so many people. Wow, I get a lot of comments saying I have a mental disorder. It's like you should seek psychiatry. That might help you. It's like I've never been happier. What do I need? People are rushing me to the emergency room over here. I have no pain in my appendix. I'm a happy guy. Can't feel my forehead. About 80% there. But it's like, why do I need to rush off to a medical facility? Let me live my life. I also feel in general just this high meat, high fat, high saturated fat, high cholesterol diet is just like healing and detoxifying. So much better than the fruit diet. I feel all loopy on that fruit. And it's like it just strips you down so aggressively and it takes your mind with it. I just see a lot of fruitarians are kind of like jumpy and agitated and they're attacky, very attacky. They attacky more than Americans and Iraqi. It's too soon. Fat heals the body in a different way. It's like fruit will strip your body of toxins and good minerals and like your fats and everything just strips you down to a skeleton. Whereas the fats more surround your toxins and hold on, they hug them. They give them a little hug and then they take them out of the body, just holding hands. You ready, toxin? Let's go. I mean, cholesterol is super anti-inflammatory. Just everything it touches, it just soothes. And then it gives you the precursors to build your hormones and you're happy, man. <laughs> just happiness everywhere. It just seems like this diet, the carnivore diet is so sustainable and it's just like it's so easy to do. You don't really have cravings for other food, it's all delicious. So the carnivore diet, especially the raw carnivore diet, mostly raw, I'm not 100% raw. I have coconut cream that's cooked and my butter is cooked. It's like I can't even find these things raw out here, but I would go lean towards mostly raw if I could. But I can't even find these things but it just it feels so healing I love this diet and I want to learn from more other people doing it and not many people are doing it and the ones that are just seem kind of shallow like they're doing it for strength only and not really health so like I said post them down below if you got them channels that are just into health but doing it this way instead it's nice to watch people that are like living like you you want to see it you want to see other people okay learn from that guy wow he eats eggs dipped in milk and then he spins it why do you spin it and for those who are curious about my strength loss i lost quite a bit of strength it feels like but it's not too far i've been working out for three weeks now and i started very slowly i just i did a 21 day water fast and then a seven day juice fast and then i started working out and so i just started with some basic shit some pull-ups doing regular push-ups. I could only do 25 push-ups. I was just exhausted after that, but I went slow. And now I just, I knocked it down a couple dimensions. I'm back to where I left off on the decline monkey thrusters. Just doing those ab raises. I'm pretty much same strength I was before. So we're gaining back, but like a pistol squat, I tried to do a pistol squat and I couldn't get myself out of the bottom position. Whereas I was doing them with like, I forget what I was up to, like 17 and a half kilograms in my hand. So we got some catching up to do. We're back to the flamingo squat. It's the baby pistol squat. So once I can do like 20 reps of those, then I'll attempt another pistol squat again. But I'm gonna attempt a one arm push up tomorrow. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'll play footage of that event over this and we'll see if I could do it. But yeah. We're working our way up slowly again, and the strength is coming. I tried these one-arm Australian things with my table. I just, I couldn't believe how hard it was. The angle was much more severe than the one I was using in the park, and it was hard. I could barely do one, so I don't know if I'm weaker or just that they're harder, but that was a nightmare. That was, made me question my insanity. So in my opinion, carnivore dieters aren't shallow. They're not any more shallow. There's plenty of shallow vegans. We're all a little shallow. 
We all want to look good, be strong, healthy, fast, furious. Nothing wrong with that. We're here in a physical body in the third dimension. It's like, ground yourself in it and then go play with your body. Not in that way, kids. Keep it together now. So, I don't know, that where we're done? We done here? <laughs> I think we're done. Thanks for watching the video today. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. How come they still allow this? Thumbs down. If you ride an Inuit man to the grocery store, you bought him seal blubber milk and some dripped from his mouth onto your shoe and your shoe's ruined. Thumbs down if you're that. He obviously couldn't afford to pay for it the fixings. He hunts whale meat. Alright, I'm gonna leave. It's got awkward. I'm a donkey bitch. Shirts are available. Sign up to the monthly Patreon Q&A. Subscribe for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.